more on this wild pursuit. An L.A. Rams player arrested hours after the game Sunday. What he's accused of coming up. And today's expected to be the busiest day on the roads for the Thanksgiving travel week. We're going to tell you the actual worst times to be on the road. The early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starts now. Good morning, I'm Eric Spillman in for Chris Schauble. Welcome to the early edition of the KTLA Morning News. I'm Megan Henderson. We appreciate you being with us. Ginger is off today, so Kirk is going to do some traffic. First, we're checking weather with Henry. Uh, good morning, Megan and Eric and Kirk. And, uh, of course, everybody joining us on Tuesday. A little wet out there in some spots in Britain, believe it or not. A few sprinkles, nothing major, but we can see some rain developing. We're going to talk about that. And, of course, we'll talk about your Thanksgiving Day forecast, which is still holding up to be really nice. So the rain showers have moved into central northern California. California. And again, we're just kind of waiting for a little overspray. And we're seeing that in through Santa Barbara, Ventura, parts of LA County. But again, it's very, very isolated, very, very light. If we get this surge to kind of sag just a little bit throughout the day, we could see at least a chance of some showers developing more measurable showers on the lighter side. But your forecast for today looks like this. Mostly cloudy chance of rain. We'll see a better chance of rain mid morning into the afternoon as we see that surge move through. And this could actually affect us through the rest of the day just in a sense of threatening skies with a slight chance of rain as you head off towards places like in uh, the Inland Empire and Inland Orange County. Uh, the more north you are, the better chance that you're going to pick up some light to moderate rain. This won't be a huge rain producer, but it will be lingering and it will bring us some cooler weather. But things should start clearing up tomorrow with some sunshine and much better weather for Thanksgiving. We'll show you that seven day forecast in a few minutes. Kirk and for Ginger, as we mentioned, we'll send it over to you. All right, Henry, thanks very much. We're going to begin with an update on how your commute is coming together in the Compton area. We begin on the 710. This is the 710 South at Alondra Boulevard. All lanes right now currently blocked. All of this due to a crash involving two semi trucks with one of them overturned on its side. All lanes are expected to continue to remain blocked there until about five o'clock this morning. So that is, this is now a SIG alert, our first SIG alert of the morning. As you can see, the significant delays there extending along the 710. Well, that is uh, the latest on your morning commute at 402. Megan and Eric, back to you. Kirk, thank you. Breaking news. One person has been killed in an overnight shooting in Cudahy. KTLA's Carlos Herrera is live at the scene with the latest details. Carlos, good morning. Uh, good morning to both of you. And just a few minutes ago, investigators saying that a man was shot and killed here just a few hours ago uh, in this Kudahe neighborhood. You can see this area blocked off uh, this morning. Homicide detectives actually arriving just a short time ago. We've seen them canvassing the area, also speaking with the victim's family out here at the scene. Uh, let's get you over to some video, some pictures of this unfolding just overnight. Investigators saying it was actually uh, 1 a.m. when they received multiple calls reporting Several shots fired just outside of an apartment building on the 4400 block of Clara Street here in Cudahy. When deputies responded, they found two gunshot wound victims. One of them was taken to a nearby hospital in unknown condition. The second dying here at the scene despite life-saving efforts from first responders. Investigators are trying to figure out what exactly may have caused this deadly shooting. They have not confirmed any information on the two people shot. It's unclear if they were shooting at each other or if a suspect is still at large. Again, this is a developing story. We're working with authorities to get more information on this. In the meantime, as we come back at her live, this area will remain blocked off as the investigation carries on. We are also waiting for the medical examiner uh, to remove the victim's body from the scene. And